Welcome back for the next part of my Final Fantasy X Anniversary Challenge playthrough. So after faffing around for another half an hour, I did eventually catch a Cactor in the Thunder Plains. I ended up using a few Chocobo Feathers in the successful attempt just to get my characters trying to connect with it for the capture it um, hasted. But now we have the 99 Chocobo Wings from unlocking uh, Cactor King, so that is all good. And I'm here at the north end of the Macalania Woods to do capturing here. Equipment wise, let's see, I've got Kamari in the front line. Um, I feel like, yeah, any character with lower health is just going to get one shot by the lizard. Kamari might also get one shot by the lizard, but I don't know. He seems kind of expendable. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, I've got him with the soft armlet just so he doesn't get shattered by the lizard if the petrification comes through. Um, I might have to change this around a bit. Um, I'm a bit concerned about the uh, Chimera encounters. I think I need Kamari to have Water Ward to survive the Aqua Breath. But um, Aaron has it, and hopefully I can set up some characters with uh, SOS Null Tide as well. So yeah, Riku has SOS Haste, but we need to actually get her into SOS HP, which hopefully we can do. And yeah, I don't think there's too much else to say. Obviously, with the equipment we've gained, like um, Evade Encounter on Wacker and stuff, winning the encounter shouldn't really be a problem. It's more just like how much, uh, you know, how much effort it takes to capture one of everything. So my plan is just to wander around here until I've got all the ones from the forest and then go do the few extras from the ice area afterwards. Alright, I'm definitely not going to bother capturing all of this. Let's start by checking HP here. Uh, so... I guess I could... I think I just want to take out one of the wasps with, um... Well, maybe I can throw a grenade, actually. Yeah, let's throw a grenade. I guess I could throw two grenades and then just capture the Zephos. And then I can just Stone Touch Slash, Death Touch, the future Zephos. And just not worry about it. Yeah, let's, let's just do that. This is also a nice encounter for getting um, SRS HP set up because of the Zephyr's attack pattern. Yeah, so the the bees would be a bit of a pain to catch here, just with Oren. Oh, sorry, with Waka. Waka would need to connect with them more than once or to crit. So, sure, let's just do what I said. Alright, so Aaron's going to be the target of its attacks, which is kind of convenient. Um, we can also power break it. Yeah, so let's just leave Aaron in the party. We can bring in... Let's see, how are we actually going to kill this thing? I mean, I, I guess I can just throw a dream powder as well. That's honestly probably just easiest. Sure. Allow me. Do a bit of damage with Lulu. And switch to capture on Aaron. Yeah, I didn't stack up on extra items after the Thunder. Oh, they're not vulnerable to sleep. Right, right, okay. Well, I can just defend with Aaron. Yeah, so it does hit for around 600 damage. Um, yeah, what do I think these were vulnerable to sleep? Oh well. Let's just keep Aaron alive. It will just keep attacking him though, as long as he's in the party, which means 
It's just a practical question of how I want to capture it. I mean, I suppose I can just smack it with Kamari plus Titus. Yeah, I can do this, but let's also, let's not forget to set up the SOS HP like I was saying. So if I bring in Yuna, I think I want Yuna to have Null Tide active, and Lulu as well. Yep, Aaron just keeps defending. Right, and I also want SOS Haste active on Riku. Right, right, right. Yeah, let's just sort out the girls. Uh... You know, and Lulu here. Oh, right. I guess that was a spell that. Oh, yeah, I have Fire Ward equipped. But, uh, mm, it's still fine. Yeah, you just keep healing. Oren. Let's go with something. Make sure we get below SOS HP. Great. Um, now I can do Riku. Guess I never got that power break in, huh? <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so that's SOS Haste. And... Then I can get Lulu with Null Tide, and I think I should be set up pretty much fine for the encounters from that point. Yeah, there's no reason why I didn't... I don't know, I should have power broken. Obviously, that would also half the damage. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to do too many things at once. Capture this guy. Never 1100, going to KO herself here, but if she so, does, it's really not a problem. I can just have her at 1 HP. Oh, she did. Oh well. Rip. Guess I need... yeah. Just have Orin heal himself. One more hit from Warren will do it. Yep, yeah, gets hit twice in a row, but that's fine. Enough. Alright, right one's if us. So let's do formation and stuff. Aaron in the front line doesn't make a great deal of sense, but yeah, I just don't have another character to put there. I like having Wacker. Oh, you know what? I can just do... I can do this and have Wacker. Hmm, how viable is Wacker's TKO? I think with Riku in haste, it's not that viable. I can just have Wacker in the front line with Evade and Counter. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. He would get KO'd by a... by the Aqua Breath out of the Chimera. Uh, we can live with that though, I think. I mean, I didn't have Water Ward on Kamari anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, th I think this is just better. Um, don't really need Yuna's MP for anything, so let's heal Aran. Switch back to... yeah, initiative, and then... get first strike in. Okay. Yeah. 
I'll make use of the auto save. I don't really have to want to have to like repeat a whole bunch of this if I make a mistake at some point. Let's also go to two times speed. All right. Well, that's the same encounter again. Uh, Let's see, we can try... We can try to death touch the Ziphos, I guess. How many turns does we could get here? Three. Yeah, definitely three if she's using items. Um, I don't want to use a smoke bomb. It also has the downside of KOing the... Bees that I actually want to capture. All right, I'm just gonna double grenade and then uh, stone touch slash death touch the Ziphos again, or not again, but yeah, get rid of it. All right. Uh, can we capture one of the bees? I was thinking about that the second time, but it's a little awkward. I mean, I guess it's fine. Like, Wacker can't die here. Yeah, I guess it's fine. We just do this. Go for the death touch. Fantastic. It worked. Yeah. Yeah, so then I think... Then I think we kill one of the bees. Yeah. Let's kill... Alright, let's throw a grenade. And check HP. Right, so we want to capture this with Whacker. Just have to be a bit careful with the rematch. So we'll kill this one with... Yeah, we can kill this one with Lulu. Go for capture on this one with Waka. I'm not going to bother stealing poison fangs here. They're certainly a useful item, but it's just so much easier to do it in the arena afterwards. Uh, so let's bring in someone... Yeah, I'm gonna need to heal Aaron anyway, he can just defend. Nice, alright, that worked out fine. Right, and I should have Kamari, let's just do this. Yeah, Kamari on Waterwood. Let's see if we can get an encounter that's not that one. There we go. Okay. So, if I... I could silence grenade this guy, so that only two out of his four attacks would actually be risking KOing characters, but I don't think I need to. I also see that Wacky gets a turn before Chimera to switch out anyway. In this case, I think I probably do just want to throw a Poison Fang. Yeah, let Poison do the work. Uh, alternatively... So this is, a, yeah, this is another guy that's not vulnerable to sleep. So what else could I do? I mean, I could just throw damaging items, I guess. Uh, we've got five Poison Fangs. Fine to use one. And then I want to make sure I have characters set up for... Um, yeah, just surviving Aqua Breath. So Lulu's, uh, sorry, Yuna's perfect because... Actually, I can go for a silence attack with Yuna. Right, nice, I'm glad I remember that. But Yuna's perfect because if she gets KO'd by one of the other attacks, she does revive in SOS HP. So let's just do this. Um... Okay, so that's its physical attack, but it does proportional damage and can never KO anybody. 
So next up, I believe, is... Is Aquabreath? Yeah, I think it's attack... Yeah, it's thunder, then attack, aqua breath, then fire. Yeah, yeah, so we're good here. Um, in fact, I can use... Yeah, let's just switch to capture... Uh, don't think we can really do anything. Yeah, there's nothing really to do with our characters. How long are we gonna have to wait here? Mm, it's a little while. Okay, let's help this. Let's help this along a bit. It takes 10% poison, uh, poison damage. So that's gonna be 734. So I can throw like an ice gem at it. Yeah, ice or lightning gem. I can probably just capture it right now without even bothering to see, waiting to see. Aqua Breath. We don't have any lightning gems. Okay, let's use an ice gem. Yeah, that's round about 3k damage. Okay, so now it's going to take 700. Uh, we can smack it here just for a bit of extra damage. Yeah, it's slow. There's no risk of Kamari not getting a turn after it or something. And same with Aran. Then, yeah, let's just see where we stand after the Aqua Breath. Right, manageable damage with Water Ward on the guys, and 414 HP, so attack from Kamari plus Aran should basically guarantee the capture. Um, yeah, he only gets a turn afterwards too, that's fine. Yeah, if this crits we are still okay. 242, I think that's... I think the damage range is always above that. It's close to the minimum damage he can do, but I mean, it wasn't a disaster. I could have just like thrown an antidote to stop it dying from poison, grab it after the next turn. Okay, so we are three out of nine, I guess, for Makalania now. And the future Chimera is we can just stone touch or death touch, so... Yeah, we don't even really need... Well, we don't need the water protection, except that we also have to worry about the uh, blue elements, I guess. Yeah, I don't think there's reason to have Kamari in SOS HP. I don't think he has Nultide. No, he doesn't. Um, what am I doing? You know, cure Kamari. Great. Okay, and I need to switch back to initiative. Okay. Yeah, there's one thing, I've mentioned this, I think, in, in previous videos. Um, there's one thing a little annoying about this area, which is that even with initiative, you never get preemptive strikes. It does prevent the ambushes, which is good, but like, yeah. Okay, I guess I have... I should have switched... Hmm. I should have, should have switched uh, Waka back to TKO here, because he doesn't have time to switch before the Chimera. Right, but he's not going to have time... Yeah, but the whole point of having him here is so he wouldn't get... He wouldn't get KO'd by the Lizard. I mean, I think the Chimera is a safe enough encounter. I don't, yeah, I shouldn't change my gear based on that. So let's just have Waka with the rematch still. Because I'm not getting ambushed, like, Riku could just be in the front line. She goes before the, the Lizard with haste. But we'll leave it like it is. Alright. Alright, so it is going to get a turn here. Let's have Waka switch out for Yuna. Um, actually, I should just attack with Silent Strike on the basis that the Thundara is something that we're not actually set up to survive. Alright, it's fire anyway. Yeah, ouch. So, after fire is... Yeah, after fire is lightning. Um, I have... 
Uh, let's see here. I don't have Null Shock on... Uh, I don't have Null Shock on Lulu. I don't have... Sorry, I'm getting a little mixed up with gear between my games here. Yeah, I don't have any instant kill attack on Riku's weapons. Well, I'm going to revive Oren, just because the Thundara is only going to kill one character, and I don't want to be left in a spot where I like, somehow mess up and could actually lose. I mean, I have Titus, who has... It's too bad Silence didn't land. I, yeah, I have Titus who has Lightning Proof, of course, but I'm just going to go for another Death Touch attack. We just need to win a coin flip at some point, yeah. We're not going to run out of Phoenix down, so it's no problem. Maybe, um, I haven't thought about this, but maybe the earlier area of the woods where you first enter, you're more likely to get the smaller enemies, like the Mole, the Lizard, the Element. I didn't think that was true, but we have just had, like, Six, seven in a row of the Ziffer slash Chimera. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Yeah, this is still fine. Yeah, this encounter again. Uh, all right. Get it over with. Okay, so it's locked into attacking Lulu, which is actually a bit annoying. But it worked out. Okay, here we go. So let's do a check on health. What are we trying to capture here? This would survive a sleeping powder and then be very easy to capture afterwards. Well, let's go for that, I think. We also need to do something about the blue element, but I mean, Null Tide, yeah, we've got that covered. So I think I'm just gonna throw a sleeping powder Yeah, let's go for the mole. Let's go for the mole and the element. This guy's 68 health. Yeah, so Aaron captures that in one hit. For the blue element, let's go for a silent strike hit. And we landed silence. Okay, so we are good to go. I guess now because it's free, I will just grab a couple fish scales. Always nice to have, you know, low, like the single target elemental damage items here and there. Right, we need to actually, yeah, I should bring in Lulu or someone to do damage to the element as well. Okay, that's them all done. Nine seventy six. Okay, we're gonna have to get it pretty low to actually capture. Yeah, forty eight damage. Let's see if we can get silence back on. Yep. Oh, wait. I thought it had over 400 health left, I was not paying enough attention there. Uh, okay, it shouldn't be difficult to capture an element later. Obviously with Silent Strike, not tired.
yeah, and we don't have to worry about the mole now, which is good. I guess, though, that the mole... Hmm. Yeah, it means we can just stone touch or death touch the mole. Right, here's that encounter again. Okay, let's go for the lizard this time. So how are we going to go about that? Uh, yeah, that's definitely a little trickier, just because it doesn't have enough HP to survive of AoE stuff. Let's do... Let's just do a single target um, lightning marble or bomb core to take this guy out. Yeah, we can get more lightning marbles. I'm fine using one. And then... Don't really want Riku getting KO'd. I think that's okay though. So I could do... Oh, I can't really do a Stamina Spring because that would bring Riku out of SOS HP. That's awkward. Do I have something that would do between 4 and 500? Yeah, I guess so. I can do Dragon Scale. Is that going to kill it though? Yeah, I think a Dragon Scale could kill it. Because the dragon scale before the half element is around 1,000. Yeah, yeah, so I, let's not do that. Um, hmm. I guess, sure, I can just throw a fish scale. Where are we here? Oh, I must not have had any, any fish scales before. Yeah, they're right at the bottom. Okay, so now Aaron can capture that. Let's see if we can drop a silence on the element. Yeah, we do not. Oh, but we got lucky. Yeah, we kind of got lucky with the attack, although the, <laughs> the counter damage is funny. Does that mean Wacker can capture it in one hit now? Oops. 120. Uh, not quite. Yeah, that health's just a bit awkward. I'm pretty sure Wacker... Can Wacker hit for 120? I think he can. I think it's like right at the top of the damage range. Hmm. But I don't want Wacker in the party right now. Yeah. Because we didn't land... Right. Because we didn't land silence, let's just have uh, Lulu come in here. Okay, that's fine. No, I want I want Waka to be able to change weapon then attack. Okay, let's just do let's do this. I think a lancet a lancet on this is gonna do like single digit damage, but it should make it easier for Wacker to capture. Or oh, thirteen. Oh that's even better. That's a lot of damage on Kamari though. Right. But I think I still have time to do this. So Uh, I've lost, um, I've lost sensor, but it had 120 health, and then I did 13, so it's down to 107. I'm pretty sure that's a guaranteed kill, and I'm pretty sure Wacker should still be guaranteed to connect. Let's see. I guess to be safe, I should just throw a Phoenix down on Kamari. Alright. Him secured, or Lizard secured. And we've got the silence that time anyway. Alright, nice. Let's see if I can not mess up the damage this time. Yeah, let's also not do like 1700 damage just with weak attacks. 
Did I steal any Electro Marbles in the Thunder Plains? No, some more I didn't. Fair enough. I'm just going to use a Dream Powder. Nice consistent damage and something I can easily get more of. Don't mind Riku, just taking three turns in a row, no big deal. Okay, let's get... Ah, silence again. How much health do you have? 189. Alright, two more Lancets and then Iron Attack should just about do it, I think. Yep. Alright, looking at my list, I believe I have everything from the forest, so let's go hit up the... Ice area. And I will abuse the autosave if necessary, so I'm not going to bother manually saving and messing up my null, uh, yeah, SOS null element, but also haste on Riku. So let's see, I want Oren, Titus. I feel like the wolf in the next area does not do as much damage as the lizard, like, I think it just straight up has lower strength, which is kind of funny. But I'm just wondering, I th think I'll, yeah, I think I'll have Wacker with rematch. I don't know that Wacker or Kamari would, or like Kamari would survive the HP damage. So we'll do that. Okay, I could have gotten Wacker into SOS HP, but it's okay. Um... I'm pretty sure, yeah, with Ice Ward, we can survive the... The flan. I don't think the flan here does a ton of damage. Uh, it's probably going to KO anybody. Yeah, it's it's going to KO anybody who doesn't have protection. Silent strike still nice. Yeah, nothing to equip. Here. Hmm. Not really, right? Nah. Okay. Doesn't matter. This can be Red Omelette, and this should be no first, I think, yeah. Okay, good to go. I'm not going to bother some, uh, healing, you know, even though Hernal Tide's not doing anything, because I don't think her HP really matters too much. So what's going to be the most annoying one to capture here? Hmm. Maybe the... Oh, Preemptive Strike, yeah. Nice, we're not restricted to not being able to get those anymore. Maybe the Eyeball will be annoying here. Well, not so much, it's like... Grenade plus Wacker Attack kind of lines up well. So on a Preemptive Strike, I think I should try to capture as much as I can. So let's open with a Grenade. We'll see if it goes critical and anything. If not, it's sort of a nice amount of damage to start with. It did not go critical. So... Wacker switch to... Capture. Um, I guess... Orange should switch to Capture. No reason not to just do that right now. Do a health check again. So 72, 215. Yeah, so if we can keep Wacker alive, he can capture these guys. And I could drop a fire on the or a couple of fires on the snow wolf to get it down within Wacker range. We could also try and silence the flan, let's do that. Nice. Okay, Evil Eye, gotcha. Let's 
Oh, I maybe missed... Ah, huh, I missed an enemy off my list here, but it's okay. I, I forgot that there's a second mole in this area. Um, so we are going to have to do one encounter after this, but it's it's fine. Yeah, so the, there's no Wolf KO Zombie here, but that's okay. And Wacko just high rolled on the hit chance anyway. Alright. So this encounter basically could not have gone any better. This guy's magic defense, or oh, sorry, physical defenses. Yeah, so it's about the same as the element. I guess that makes sense. So 52 HP. I guess Aaron probably needs a bit of help here. Smack of Titus. There we go. Right. So I think that is just the mole. from the ice area left. And... Okay, equipment sorted out. Yeah, that encounter was good. I think the nice thing with the mole is I can probably just sleep in powder. Ah, I don't need the, these guys. Uh, let's see, just double grenade. Steal a bit more from the plan. Ah, could have stolen a sleeping part of there. It, it's fine. We've got these guys for the arena. I mean, we can grab as much as we want from the arena now, anyway. In fact, yeah, it's just. Start the coin flips. Still looking for the ice mall. Maftet, I think its name is. I get confused. This is a funny area because there's like different moles in back-to-back -back zones, which isn't... There's a couple of places where you get the same enemy type in back-to-back -back areas, but mostly you don't. But yeah, they are two distinct enemies. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Alright, we got this encounter again. Yeah, looking at how this is going, I can just have TKO on Waka here. Um, yeah. There's the mole. Alright. Mapped it, that's right. 
So, yeah. He has how much health? 993. Okay, so probably can't throw a Dream Powder. Let's just do Sleeping Powder. And Stone Touch this dude. Oh. Well, I forgot that would wake it up. That's okay, I guess. How much health are we looking at? Oh, Mr. Mole. 202. Okay. It's funny that it's weak to ice. This being, you know, ice fields or whatever. Right, let's get our in here for the capturing. Do need another hit. 70. Nope, we're good. Alright, oh, nice. Not completely sure what I'm going to do next in this challenge. I do want to do the capturing in the sunken cave. That's going to be really awkward because of the silly magic urn. Um, I th yeah. I might do some other farming first, but I think that will be the next video. Anyway, I'm off to the arena to grab my prizes from this lot and make some gil from selling three stars and other stuff I picked up from the Remian Racing. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll be back with the next part.